Hi, I'm glad you stopped by. In this video, we're talking about our part, a portion of our present work and the truth surrounding that. Our text is Luke 19.13, where Christ tells us, Occupy till I come. We are in the waiting, watching time. This is in the third watch. Faith and patience are required during this time. We are looking into what James White wrote in Life Incidents on our present work and position. Please remember, as we read what James White wrote on our present position and work, uh, that the Advent Seventh-day Keepers are the only ones who believe this. This is not where the Seventh-day Adventist Church of today is. So here is what James White wrote. Seventh-day Adventists are charged with making the Sabbath a test, and some will have it that we denounce and reject all who do not believe as we do. It is true that we teach that God is testing his, the people by his law, but we deny the charge that we denounce and reject those who differ from us. Our course toward all men whom we can reach with our publications, our sermons, and our entreaties proves the charge false. We beseech all men without respect to religion, a uh, correction, without respect to profession of religion, color, or rank in society to turn from their sins, keep God's commandments, and live. We manifest a zeal and earnestness in this matter somewhat in proportion to the importance of the testing message we bear. And because our testimony is pointed and earnest, condemning those who choose to pass along with the popular current and violate the law of God, some are disturbed and with feelings of retaliation falsely charge us. It is not our work to test, condemn, and denounce the people. It is not in our hearts to unnecessarily injure the feelings of any. But with our present convictions of truth and duty, we should do great violence to our own consciences and sin against God. Should we cease to declare to the people the purpose of God in testing the world by his law just before the day of wrath. Seventh-day Adventists believe that in the restoration of the Bible Sabbath under the last message of mercy, God designs to make it a test to the people. The Seventh-day Adventist Church of today is actually moving members as it can to Sunday worship. And it is blurring the line between Sabbath and Sunday for many people. So the question is, if Sunday is to be made a test, then why do we make the Sabbath a test? Answer, because God made it a test. See Revelation 13, 12. Making Sunday a test is a partial fulfillment. Who should we test with the Sabbath? Answer, to the poor, hungry, scattered sheep, just as God told us to do. See the present truth, number 8, page 64. How do we make Sabbath a test to the public? Answer, presenting the truth. See Life Incidents, page 331 and 336. 
What should we do? Answer, reprint pamphlets, personal witness, and sermons. Again, see Life Incidents, pages 331 and 336. Where should this action happen? Answer, where God puts you. Take personal action, not just sending your money away for someone else to do the work. When should this take should we take this action? Answer when God tells you Christ is the only authorized leader of his people. See Life Sketches, page four o two. You need to be armed for this conflict, and this is a battle. One of the things that you need is you need to um, take a look at the pamphlet. You've probably heard the information come out as Rome's Challenge, which is true, but it's a title put on by the Adventists. The actual real pamphlet I have in a PDF, and you can have it. Just send me your email and a request to get this pamphlet, and it is quite amazing. And you can, I'll email it right back to you. Um, we have quite an opportunity here, but you must be armed, and you need the truth. So the truth is, this is the position that the Catholic Church held, and I'm using the term past tense. What has happened, if you go on to the um, Google website, uh, and you should do this search in Google because I want you to see what has been sculpted for you to see, and you type in two words, as your search term, Sunday, Sabbath. You type in those two words, and you'll probably get a couple of ad pages at the links right at the top. But the next one should be a article, I believe it's a Wikipedia page, but the following one, the second item on there, is from catholic.com. I believe that is the term or the title. And, but you do your search and you'll find it. And they have completely 180 degrees changed their tune. They're now claiming that the Bible actually does support what the change from Sabbath to Sunday. It's amazing. And reading this pamphlet, which has those articles in it of dealing with Rome's challenge to the Protestants, this will uh, make just, <laughs> it's, it's like the proof that you need to deflect the arrows and the insults and everything else that's being thrown at you. But this will give you the armor that you need and that and your the distance between you and Christ. Christ is your authorized leader. It's a very important thing that you stay close to your leader. God bless your study.